Another early morning. Let's go. Another <laughs> glorious day. We set off early as we had many miles to go and wanted to get ahead of the weather. We also had to pass through Whirlpool Rapids and wanted to be sure that we caught the slack here. Then there were strong wind warnings with Johnstone Strait and we wanted to make sure that we got to Port Neville as early as we could. We had a good ride and cleared the rapids quite nicely. You can see how strong the currents are here. It actually pushed us along at 12 knots. We passed through Sunderland Channel, which I thought was pretty neat. This is Judy's mom's maiden name. The winds were definitely strong in Johnstone Strait, and it was pretty choppy. So, Ray, what did you say about Johnstone Strait again? Um, <laughs> oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I'll take a look out there. <laughs> oh, we got some white caps starting to pop up here. Ah, that's just the odd wave. We were quite happy to tie up at the dock at Port Neville. There was a store and a post office here at one point in time, and Norwegian settler Hans Hansen built the home here in 1920. His family ran the store and the post office here. The Port Neville post office was, in fact, the oldest continually operated post office in BC, and Hansen's granddaughter Lorna was the postmistress until it closed in 2010. The trees provided a nice windbreak, and we decided to do dinner ashore. It turned out to be a really nice picnic.